Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam today I am very much excited because all the coding questions which were asked today all are from the previous uh, previously asked questions okay so that means if you are preparing for the previous resources which were uh, like asked on May exam which were asked in the earlier years so that will be very much useful for you for your july exam because on july 4th they have asked the same questions without changing any questions okay so let me share the questions as well as the patterns and few uh, important special reasoning and cognitive questions okay so before that let me just tell you what they will ask you that is uh, at first cognitive reasoning there will be total 10 questions from different chapters and from uh, spatial reasoning spatial reasoning there will be 10 questions from uh, c++ or java mcq there will be 10 mcq and there will be some uh, uh, like coding questions as well okay two coding questions one will be to solve the problem and second one will be to fix the problem okay so these are all you have to face in your exam so i hope you are preparing accordingly so guys i know that very few resources are available in internet so if you want to know what are the real questions being asked and how to prepare and what to prepare then please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore web there you can get all the real questions which was asked recently in the recent drives and which are being repeated and 100 percent guarantee most of the questions are being repeated okay so i hope you are stood so let let me share the uh, cognitive questions at first so that you know how well, like what are the questions being asked okay so for cognitive uh, let me give you one question at first from LCM let's say there are three clocks a b c are ringing ringing simultaneously after four seconds after six seconds after eight seconds okay a abc clocks are ringing simultaneously after four seconds six seconds and eight seconds so when they will ring together when they will ring together this is the question real questions asked today so if you know how to solve that problem then you can easily just do the lcm and lcm of the times four six eight and you will get the output okay so this is what like they are asking and from let's let me show the second questions uh, they are asking from uh, profit and loss okay profit and loss they are asking questions from um yeah work people okay day okay sorry and they are also asking few more questions guys i could not remember all but they are asking the questions this way and also from number series and missing numbers this way okay so let me share the coding questions which was asked recently i have already covered these questions uh, that is re related to multi-thread problem and this problem was asked on 25th of may and again asked on 4th of july so why i am asking uh, to solve the previous questions because they are repeating the questions okay so the question was like you need to write a multi-threaded java program that takes two messages message one and message two and produces the following output sending message one message one sent sending message two message two sent so this is what uh, the output should be constraints are given and here as you can see if the message one is high and message two is by then output is sending high high sent sending by by sent so message one and message two these are not hard coded these are the sample like inputs and sending and sent these are uh, hard coded okay i hope you understood so let me just uh, like so what is the problem in this code and what to fix in this code okay so this is the code you are given actually i have already solved this problem and the video is available in techno uf youtube channel so if you have been following then it will be very much easier to uh, grab all the questions okay guys please do subscribe this channel so that you can get all the latest updated content for you only okay so uh the, this code was given so what is the problem in this code let me see that so the problem is as you can see here it is uh it is producing right output sending high high send sending by by send but when you again run it 
uh, it probably will not be right yeah, as you can see high send at first but it should be sending high at first okay sending high then high send sending by buy send so this is a thread problem right so i hope you know guys what is thread a little bit thread is a class uh, which helps us to do multi multitasking in java right not in only java but everywhere thread is used for multitasking let's say if you are using this uh, window this tab then there will be some other tabs as well which are being uh, like handled which are being uh, like which are being opened okay in the background so those are all parallelly uh, working so that is what the multitasking uh, comes into the picture so thread that's why helpful so now thread uh, we are using here two threads so if you are doing multiple tasks so mul for multiple tasks uh, the computer the laptop automatically assign some thread to the task here task 1 here task 2 here task 3 here task 4 if i open a task 5 then for that also a thread will be provided okay so that's why the ram consumed right so uh, so this way actually parallel i mean multitaskings are happening using thread okay so now uh, you have to maintain order so after completing the task you have to complete this after completing this task you have to complete this or this so you have to maintain order right so for that you have to maintain a right code for that as well but here it is not fully right so what to make uh, like how to make it right uh, in thread in thread uh, we have a class inbuilt method that is called sleep okay let's say here what is the problem after sending high after sending high it is not uh, high not sent okay it can be different okay at first this is executed at uh, some time and then it is executed sometime so what's the problem why it is executing uh, first and why it is executing first and suppling between uh, each other why because uh, this is the problem okay so let's say if you are using sleep please sleep here please sleep here for 10 seconds for 5 seconds so then it will wait for something it will wait for something then it will execute the next thing okay so let's say if you are doing something in this thread after that you want to sleep okay 10 seconds sleep then you are doing the next task okay so if you are using these threads uh, as in sleep then what's the problem it will not be uh, like sub uh, like uh, uh, efficient code why because let's say if your internet speed your internet speed is okay and your thread one task takes only three seconds and you are uh, using 10 seconds sleep then it will uh, like randomly wait for seven seconds more and then it will go there so it will not be proper solutions so you have to use something which will be uh, good and like more productive for this code okay what is that that is join method okay if you are using join method uh, for thread uh, join method is also a uh, inbuilt method in thread class which will help to execute the threads one by one in our order okay so uh, after executing this thread only this thread will be executed and line by line so it will help us on that so let me share the correct code so that you can understand better okay so uh, 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 let me just comment it uh, okay so the corrected code is here let me just uncomment it mm -hmm. okay so now as you can see inside thread one we have included sending and the input and then input then send okay so now uh, inside thread two we have given provided um, sending message to i mean the input to and input to send okay so at first we have to start the thread one at first we have to start the thread one okay after executing the thread one after executing the thread one only the thread two will be started why because we are using a t1 join method i mean join method which will let the t1 execute first otherwise this will not be executed okay at first it will be executed uh, if it is not executed then interrupted exception will be thrown okay and and like if this is started t1 dot started then only t2 will be started okay so i can show you something let me just uh run it and as you can see sending high at first then high send then let me run it again 
standing high high stand so it will be always in an order okay so right now let's say if i write a t1 dot sleep method Ten seconds. What will happen after? Uh, as you can see, interrupted exception must be caught declared. Okay, so as we are using interrupted exception, so that's why we cannot use this one. Let me remove that. So I hope you understood uh, the question and the pattern. So guys, if you want to get all the questions uh, which was repeated and which can be repeated in the upcoming time so please visit top and dot slash tectonic web there you can get all the cognitive reasoning special reasoning interview experiences and also coding solutions in c plus plus and java both so please visit and grab the opportunity right now the link will be given in the description box thank you